Representing one of the newest additions to the MCRN fleet, the Morrigan-class patrol destroyer was conceived as a lower-cost attack vessel that combined the functionality of a light destroyer and a patrol torpedo boat to create a craft that could be constructed in large numbers and deployed to security assignments across the solar system, as well as playing a vital role in frontline engagements. The craft are frequently seen alone or in pairs, patrolling civilian shipping lanes and carrying out inspections, but when deployed in a larger group, the small vessels can be a deadly opponent, especially when supported by MCRN cruisers or battleships. At a length of 31 meters, the Morrigan is shorter even than the MCRN Corvette class, presenting an extremely small and narrow profile that is difficult to target using railguns. The ship generally carries a crew of eight, but can easily be operated by as few as three individuals if necessary. The Morrigan's interior is relatively comfortable, but cramped, especially when operating with a full crew or passengers. In spite of this, many Morrigan class vessels are deployed to fly long patrol sorties without shore leave, making them an unpopular assignment among the men and women of the MCRN. The weapons complement of the Morrigan class is slightly larger than that of many dedicated patrol torpedo boats, sporting a pair of Narraman Dynamics 40mm point defence cannons alongside twin bow-mounted torpedo tubes concealed behind shielded doors. These weapons are more than sufficient for dispatching rattletrap pirate vessels and smaller attack boats, but are most effective when added to the collective firepower of a larger Martian fleet. The Morrigan class does not possess any ventral point defence weapons, creating a blind spot in the ship's defence grid that can only be covered by nearby friendly craft. This problem is mitigated by the destroyer's impressive manoeuvring speed, but remains an exploitable weakness that can prove fatal. The Morrigan class was developed as part of a fleet-wide modernisation program that also saw the introduction of the Donager class battleship and Corvette class frigate. To this end, the Morrigan was designed to be carried within the internal berths of a Donager class vessel, being loaded in pairs to the same modules that were often used to carry a single Corvette. This allowed an MCRN fleet commander to further diversify his or her fleet by choosing a larger complement of Morrigan class destroyers over a small number of Corvettes. The Morrigan-class destroyer received its trial by fire during Captain Teresa Yao's three-year campaign against the various pirate groups of the Inner Belt. In order to protect the number of MCR shipping routes crucial to the Martian terraforming project, Captain Yao ordered that two of the MCRN Donager's corvettes be replaced with four of the newly introduced Morrigan-class destroyers, allowing the captain to cast a wide net over the region and swiftly respond to any vessels in distress. This operation resulted in the destruction of numerous pirate vessels and greatly discouraged further acts of piracy against Martian convoys. Certain vessels of the Morrigan class, such as the MCRN Shandian, have received expensive refits to allow the ships to operate under stealth. These select vessels feature subtle alterations to their hull shape intended to reflect hostile radar as well as carrying more sophisticated heat sinks and thermal masking systems to hide the ship from enemy detection, an advantage that no United Nations warship possesses. Vessels converted in this manner are rare and still less effective than purpose-built stealth ships, but they have often proved valuable for covert reconnaissance operations behind enemy lines. As a vessel designed to be produced and deployed in large numbers, the Morrigan-class patrol destroyer represents a notable exception to the standard MCRN preference for fewer, more powerful warships. Though atypical, this design has brought valuable diversification to the Martian fleet and allows the MCRN to quickly and precisely respond to developing threats that may not demand the presence of a larger cruiser or battleship.